questions I get asked most by my styling clients is how to style a black blazer other than for work. So I want to show you my black blazer. I've had this one in my closet for over eight years. I found it at the Barneys in Beverly Hills when it was still around. So it's not around anymore, but I will link some similar ones down below in case you do not have a black blazer in your closet and you might want to add one after watching the nine ways I'm styling it here today. If you don't have a good classic blazer in your closet, I would look for that one first before opting for some of the more trendier oversized blazers that may not be in style for that much longer. So for this first look, I'm wearing my black blazer over a dress. And I like that the dress has some print because it kind of breaks up the solid kind of heaviness of the black. But because the blazer is fitted and it's not super long or oversized, I feel like it just really defines my body. This dress is a little bit more flowy other than when it comes in at the waist. So it really just helps to define this look and give me that layer. And I've also just pushed up the sleeves to make it feel more casual and show my wrist so it feels a little bit more feminine and elegant. And I've paired it here with a pair of heels. So this is a great look if you're going out to dinner and you need that extra layer and you want just to feel a little bit more polished with a jacket like this one. But I also love wearing a look like this for daytime. So I wanna show you how if you just change the shoes, how it really just completely changes the whole look of this dress. So I've taken off my heels and I'm putting on my golden goose sneakers and for me personally I love mixing that balance of opposites so my sneakers are a little bit more edgy they're a little bit more trendy and I love wearing it with something that's more feminine like this dress and then the blazer just really completes the look and pulls it all together for my second look I'm wearing my Anine Bang t-shirt under this blazer and because my personal style is feminine but also classic with a little bit of edge to it. I love wearing a t-shirt like this under a blazer and it just kind of peeks out a little bit because the blazer obviously covers it. And then I'll show you how you can just really transform this look. When you roll up the sleeves, you can see here, it makes the look feel more casual and just a little bit softer. It shows more arm, it's not as structured, so it feels more feminine as well. So that simple little styling tweak can really change look. And I started with the t-shirt untucked because I wanna show you the difference of what it looks like when it's out and then also when you do a French tuck or a half tuck. So once you do that little half tuck in the front, it just adds so much more definition and it elongates my petite frame. I'm five, four and a half. So just adding that definition makes my legs look longer and just really brings in more shape to my body. And I'm wearing it with my slim straight frame jeans and I paired it with my black ankle booties to give me a little bit of height. But you'll see once I switch out my shoes, I'll change from the ankle booties to my golden goose sneakers. You'll see that it makes the look feel more casual and daytime ready. So just by swapping out your shoes, sometimes you can completely change the look. Another way I like to style a blazer is over a lightweight sweater like this one. So again, it gives you that structure to a knit, which is really nice. If you're looking for a little bit more polish and to elevate a look, that blazer just adds that extra element. And again, I'm gonna push the sleeves up so that that also kind of just shows a little bit more of my wrist and makes it feel a little bit more casual. And I like that the sweater is a pink color because if you're wearing a color under a black blazer, it helps to break up the black. The same way in that first look when I was wearing that floral printed dress. And I chose to style it with my sneakers. Again, because I wanted to show you that you can really just elevate a look, bring in something like a structured black blazer but then add an unexpected element, an opposite element like a casual but stylish sneaker just makes it feel more casual and daytime ready. So this next look is a look that I love to wear out, to go out with friends or go out with my husband for a date night, but it's wearing a silk cami underneath a black blazer and I'm wearing it with a pair of denim and I paired it with my heels. Now there's two simple styling tweaks I'm gonna show you to just really add a little bit more polish and elevate this look. So the first one is, again, it's that French tuck or half tuck. So you'll see I don't have a lot of definition in the waist or shape right now, other than the structure of the jacket, but when I tuck that silk cami and I do that French tuck, it really just brings more definition to this look. And the second styling tweak I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll up the sleeves once again. So you can see when the sleeves are down, it just looks a little bit too structured. It doesn't look effortless or even doesn't have a lot of style to it. So those simple styling tweaks that you can do to an outfit can really just change the whole look. The next way I like to style a black blazer is by wearing it over a piece that's more 
feminine and a little bit more flowy like a silk blouse. So it just kind of gives the structure of the blazer. It just makes it a little bit more softer, those pairing of opposites. And again here, I have chosen to roll the sleeves up. And here I paired it with my black faux leather leggings and my black ankle booties. So I feel like this is a look that I can definitely wear to meet clients or for work meetings. I think it's something that is really polished, really put together, but also still really feels like me and it doesn't feel at all too stuffy or too structured. And I've chosen here to once again roll the sleeves up because it gives you that, again, more that like feminine, casual, relaxed vibe than if the sleeves were left down. And then say I'm going from meeting with clients to meeting up with friends for dinner or a date night with my husband, I'm only gonna swap out my shoes. I think switching my ankle boots for a pair of chic heels just instantly polishes the look and elevates it for a night out. I love this look. And the first time I saw this look was on Joan Smalls and it was years ago and it's still really current and stylish today. Wearing a knit hoodie underneath a blazer and then pairing it with my joggers and wearing a cool pair of sneakers I just think is such a chic and stylish way to look put together to wear your blazer for daytime and I've added my little YSL crossbody bag here to again just that little detail the bag that goes with the look again just makes it more polished and elevated and goes from just more of a basic cool outfit to a super stylish one now while my hoodie is a knit you can definitely wear your blazer over a sweatshirt hoodie. I think that's really stylish and really on trend right now. It's a great way to bring in some of those athleisure pieces you might have accumulated over the last few years and just help elevate them and bring them into your style. Now this next way to style a blazer isn't for every day, but when you do have special occasions and you're wearing a cocktail dress or a more formal dress, I love using my blazer as a little cape over my shoulders. I just think it's a really chic and stylish way and an updated version of kind of when we used to do more of the shawls. I think now wearing a blazer as a cape over your shoulders is super stylish. You can also, of course, do this over a t-shirt as well. It doesn't need to be just for a formal occasion, but I wanted to show you a way that you can also wear your blazer for a formal occasion and make it look super stylish. For my next outfit, I've styled this black blazer over a white elevated basic tee, my A Goldie long shorts that I love, and I've styled it with my black ankle booties. I've done a French tuck here to give more definition to my shape and kind of just bring in my waist. And I've rolled the sleeves up to give it a more casual vibe. And for me, I love wearing something like this. And again, just mixing something unexpected like a blazer and a pair of denim shorts together. And I just think that pairing of opposites works really well. Something very structured and polished like a black blazer with a pair of more fringe kind of denim shorts. And I wanna show you how to make this look even more casual. So I'm swapping out my black ankle boots and I'm putting on my chic sneakers instead. And you can see it just really makes this feel more casual, more daytime appropriate, yet still really polished. And again, as the weather warms up even more, you can just swap out your sneakers and add a pair of chic sandals like these. And I think, again, this is such an easy, effortless look and a great way to use your blazer all year round. And for my last look, I'm wearing my Neen Bing t-shirt once again under my black blazer. And this time I've styled it with my faux leather leggings to give this look a little bit more edge and make it more evening appropriate. And I styled it with my black ankle boots. And I'm gonna go ahead and roll up the sleeves once again so you can see just that simple styling tweak can really just change the feel of an outfit. And if I want to make this look even a little bit more dressy for a night out, I'm gonna switch out my ankle boots for a pair of chic heeled sandals like these. For more outfit ideas and styling tips and tricks, go ahead and watch this playlist here where I share tons of different outfit ideas. So thanks for being here and watching. If you're new and would like new videos every Thursday, click that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next week.